Hey guys, T Stark here with the super spooky reviews for the super spooky month, October. Call of Cthulhu by H.P. Lovecraft. Because I thought that it would be good to review a classic horror book instead of a bad horror book. Let's begin. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. The reason I chose my book was because it was one of the forefronts of the psychological horror movement. Instead of relying more on jump scares, it relied more on subtlety and over time deconstructing a person. It was more, uh, it scared you more because of the ideas it brought up and of the commentary and uh, just pointing out the flaws in humanity instead of just being like, boo. And uh, I found that to be a lot more interesting than, re than reading a normal horror book. The main characters in my book are a man named Francis and his great uncle, Professor Henry. Part one of my book takes place in Boston. Part two of my book takes place at a science convention talking about an expedition in the swamps. And part three of my book takes place on a boat. In part one of my book, Francis receives his great uncle's possessions after he passes away at 97. He realizes that he, most of his studies were actually towards this deity who was uh, worshipped a while ago called Cthulhu. And over this time, the he finds out that his great uncle was studying people's dreams to learn more and more about Cthulhu. And by the end of this part, he realizes that he, that his uh, great uncle might have been murdered because he knew too much. In the second part of my book, Francis goes to a science convention where he gets more evidence for Cthulhu, as well as he learns of this of this group's expedition through the through the jungle, in which they find a primal tribe who worships. Cthulhu and the other primal deities. In part three of my book, the crew of a ship called the Alert find Relay, which is the place where Cthulhu and all of the other deities similar to him lived, and they were all in the sunk in the middle of the ocean, and they eventually came up, and the crew of the Alert. Only two survived on the boat, and they crashed the boat into Cthulhu, but they realized that it was meaningless, because in the end, they didn't really do anything to him, because he's immortal. This is T-Stark, signing out until next time. Bye bye I believe in things. America. Freedom. America freedom. Vote America freedom.